morning is dry, so nothing really going on right now. So you see that little impact icon, and I'm very specific on putting those little icons for the afternoon, but the morning is still a little windy. So let's kind of break down the timeline from now until noon. You might get a spotty shower, but the main bulk of the rain does not even really start until we get into the afternoon. So areas in Milwaukee likely starting to see this activity by about one o'clock. If you're in Oconomowoc, this is likely closer to about 11. That rain will be increasing here as we go throughout the day between three and eight o'clock. This is when it becomes the most intense. And what I mean by that is the main bulk of the rain will be falling at this point overnight. We'll just have some lingering showers and then some of this could turn into a little rain snow mix especially some of our northern counties i don't anticipate big impacts from that but Regardless, I am expecting us to cool down quite a bit, which would trigger that potential. So we have Waukesha, we have Milwaukee, Elkhart Lake and Brookfield. Everybody's dry. The reason we're so mild, you see that cloud cover right here. So we have clouds that are, you know, hanging around at the moment. We had a lot of melting yesterday, so we even could see some patchy fog developing this morning, but we are mild. I mean, 42 degrees right now, but it is really windy. I've been monitoring those winds and they're gusting up to even 30 miles an hour this morning. The rain is increasing, so grab the rain boots for later and as I just mentioned that little impact icon you're going to see it on all my graphics today that is going to be happening for the afternoon and noticing those wind gusts so these are the wind speeds between 10 and 20 miles an hour the gust could easily exceed over 30 miles an hour in the middle of the day and it will still be windy going into tomorrow tomorrow does not look pleasant either it's much colder maybe a couple of rain snow mix showers and uh, yeah that wind is going to make it feel pretty nasty there's the area of low pressure that I've been tracking here for the last couple of days and look what it's doing to the country. We have severe storms with an enhanced risk, basically a bullseye right over Dallas and that actually gets into southern Oklahoma and portions of Arkansas. And then you can see the snow and ice potential really impacting areas in Minnesota and also getting into Nebraska. This system for us is too warm, so we will stay all rain. Here's that area of low pressure brings in the rain. It just kind of picks up after that lunch hour. Then it becomes more intense between three and eight o'clock as that area of low pressure approaches. So if you're heading home from work at six, you're going to be in the thick of rain and wind. So don't forget to keep the headlights on. Even though the sun sets now at about, you know, almost seven o'clock, you still need to make sure that you're doing that. Then the cold front passes through, cold air wraps around the low, and I think we could have some rain snow mix showers going into Friday morning and kind of lingering into the afternoon. That wind does not stop all day, and it's out of the northwest. So that's a colder source. So tomorrow is going to feel kind of nasty. So rainy and windy for tomorrow morning. Again, some of these, you know, rain showers could have a little bit of that mixed precip inside of it. And then maybe a mix, very sporadic. Winds will be increasing with gusts up to even 40 miles an hour. Let's talk weekend. It's Thursday. We're getting close, right? Single digit wind chills to kick off the day on Saturday. Lingering snow showers, little to no accumulation, but yeah, Saturday looks kind of cold and then another cold morning on Sunday, but it gets much better, less wind and turning sunny as we head into Sunday. And that's why right here behind that low, we get a little cold block here that pops up. But by the middle of next week, some warm air arrives before another cold spell arrives here as we go into the end of next week. So we're doing the up and down dance. That's what we do in the middle of spring or as we get closer to spring. Rather, we go up and down with temperatures as a jet stream starts to kind of even out a little bit as the seasons change. Good news is next week we kick off the week with high pressure. But guess what? I'm tracking another Thursday system. So that's like seven weeks in a row. <laughs>